In XTech Basics and Rescue, we discuss the fundamentals of decompression cylinders, including common sizes and materials, as well as the selection of decompression regulators. In this section, we'll expand on that information discussing rigging deco cylinders and configuring decompression regulators. Over the years, fairly standard ways of rigging decompression cylinders have evolved. There is a method that can work well with both back mount and side mount, and an alternative method that is uniquely suited for side mounting. The most common method involves looping a piece of line or narrow nylon webbing around the neck of the cylinder and down the side. Attached to this is a single sliding bolt snap at the apex of the tank's shoulder. The line or webbing then runs under a stainless hose clamp that encircles the tank approximately 40 centimeters or 16 inches from the neck. Past this, the line or webbing extends roughly 10 centimeters or 5 inches, ending in a second sliding bolt snap. The upper snap clips to a shoulder D-ring. The lower snap clips to a D-ring on the waistband. Many side mounters use a method that employs an elastic bungee cord at both the neck and the hose clamp. This allows placement of the deco cylinder on top of one of the side mount bottles, resulting in a lower overall profile and greater clearance below the diver. The use of gloves may also require the use of larger sliding bolt snaps. No matter how you rig your deco cylinders, there are a few things they should have in common. You will need some sort of elastic band or bands encircling the cylinder to act as a hose retainer. In addition to a contents label on the tank neck that lets you know the FO2 and MOD of the gas mix you are switching to, you need a large predominant label at the base and at the bottom of the cylinder to alert your teammates to the cylinder's maximum operating depth. Bear in mind, the strap lengths listed previously are generalizations. You will need to experiment to find the links that work best for you and which allow you to attach and remove cylinders with the least effort. You should also be aware that, underwater, the bottoms of aluminum deco cylinders will tend to float upward, a phenomenon that becomes even more pronounced as you breathe the bottles down. This seldom causes any problems, however. In the XTech Basics and Rescue course, we discuss the factors to consider when selecting decompression regulators for both shallow and deep stops. In this section, we discuss how to actually configure your deco regs. Most deco regs consist of little more than a first stage, second stage, and a 1 meter or 40 inch low pressure hose. Some divers prefer to attach a standard submersible pressure gauge on a very short high pressure hose. However, insofar as you do not manage your deco gas the same way you manage your gas supply, you either have enough at the start of the dive or you don't, other divers feel that the compact button style gauge is adequate. As mistakenly switching to a pure oxygen or an oxygen-rich deco gas at too deep a depth is the worst possible mistake a tech diver can make, many divers color code their shallowest deco reg with green hoses and possibly green mouthpieces, second stage covers, and or exhaust tees. Some will even place the second stage in a green pocket when not in use. As mentioned in XTech Basics, you will want to equip your second stage with a small stainless steel bolt snap so that you can clip it off when not in use. You will loop the second stage hose through the retaining band on your deco bottle and clip the second stage to either the ring at the base of the upper bolt snap or a similar attachment point near the top of the tank. 